And this is a video of a problem I'm having in understanding the run from here uh, button. See here, run from here. Uh, I've written a, a tiny test program to remove as many variables as possible. So let me load that program. And the program has just movement of the z-axis. So uh, I'm not sure if you can see this, but I start out with a G20, G90, G64, G40, next line G91.1, then I do a G0, Z1.0, it brings it all the way up to, to Z equals 1, and then at a feed rate of 3, I go down to 0.9, next line 0.8, next line 0.7, next 0.6, and finally uh, 0.5, at which point the next line is an M30. Notice that I'm only moving the z-axis. Okay, so now if I just do a cycle, oh, and you can see over here, x is 0, y is 0, and I've left z at 0.9394, and uh, my a-axis is 0. So I'll do a cycle start. And as you would expect, it's moving down. No surprises there. Now this time, I'm going to stop the program part way through. So I did a, since it's executed to the end, I just do a cycle start. And I'm going to do a stop. Okay, did it right there. And let's say I want to go to line 3. So I entered 3, carriage return, run from here. All right. And then I do a cycle start. And look what I get. Okay, x equals 0. That makes sense. It wants me to move to, it says it's going to move to minus 3.8631203 for y. I don't understand that. Why is it moving anything on the y-axis? And then it wants to put me at uh, a z of 1. Well, that makes sense because I want to start at line 3 and line 2 is at 1. So I'll ignore the fact that it wants to move y and I'll click OK. For some reason it's moving z all the way down to 0 and then back up again. I don't understand that. And then, but notice it didn't move Y, even though it said it was going to. And now I'm going to do a cycle start. And sure enough, it executes from 3, 4, 5, etc. So, what's going on? That's all for now.